All right, to get started, I went to the Inventables website and clicked on Easel, and then you'll get prompt here to launch the Easel app. After it loads, it gives you a list of all your projects, um, but I'll go ahead and just kind of show you how easy this is to use. Uh, we want to go to materials and select our materials first. We want to go, they give you a bunch of options here. We're going to be selecting MDF and we're going to give our, our size. Our X is 16 and our Y is 6. And then here, 6 inches, this is all in inches. Uh, you can change it to millimeters if you want, but inches is what we're going to use. I'm going to go ahead and uh, here you can adjust your feed rate and your depth. We're going to go ahead and change our depth and change that to 0.033, I believe is what I used. And then down here, over here on the right hand side, it kind of shows your project here in a little 3D model. And then over here on your left hand side is your working surface. Now up here, uh, they give you a bunch of different options you can use you can make a square, star, triangle, and they give you a bunch of faces, stuff that's already kind of in the, in the program, uh, but we want to use the oh, let's delete our square. Uh, we want to use the text box, and here they give you a bunch of font, fonts. I wish there was a little bit more fonts, more options, uh, but you could do that in an outside source program and just uh, export it in. But we'll use what they have, and we'll go ahead and use this font here. They give you a text box. Oh, it gives me a little warning there. Then we want to type in corks but we want it in capitals. And then we want to make it fit our piece. So we'll make it nice and big. And we're gonna center it. I'm not gonna take the time to get it all centered. Uh, once you get that centered, then you wanna set your depth. Uh, here, you could, we wanna cut all the way through, so we'll drag this ball all the way down to a quarter inch and now we want to set our tool path and so they give you three options here you cut inside the line outside the line these would be good for inlays but for this uh, project we're going to be cutting right on the line and there it kind of shows you cutting out those pieces and then we want to make sure we have the tabs button or box checked what the tabs are it leaves little tabs spaced out here so that way as the bit cuts all the way through the C piece doesn't get wiggled around. It, it kind of locks it in there, and I'll show you that later on as I cut that. That's pretty much it. Once you get everything how you like it, you just go up here and hit carve. Prompts you to do a bunch of things. Uh, check your material, make sure you got it in there. It's just quarter inch, and then it's gonna ask you oop, to secure our material. Did. Choose our bit, eighth inch. Machine, you want to put it at home, which is the lower left-hand corner, and then you want to lower the bit using these controls here, so that's just touching the surface of the material as shown here. And then we'll confirm that's home, and then we'll raise our bit, turn the spindle on, and hit carve. When using a CNC machine, make sure you use the right bit for the job, whether it be cutting metal, wood, or plastic. So here are those tabs, so we'll go ahead and use the jigsaw and just cut those off. Uh, we need to save the middle of the O and the middle of the R and we'll glue that onto the chicken wire later and we'll go ahead and clean up all the little edges. Now I'm going to glue the sides onto the back along with the end pieces. A 
I'm going to use a couple pin nails to hold the pieces together while the glue dries. I went ahead and cut an inch and an eighth hole in the top of the side piece to go ahead and put the corks through. Alright, so I got some half inch chicken wire here and went ahead and painted that black as well as the inside of the top piece to just get it now done and out of the way now. And then I went ahead and marked where the sides are going to be so that way I make sure I don't get chicken wire past that line or the lid's not going to fit on. So then I'm going to go ahead and glue this on with some epoxy. With the screen all dry, it's time to glue it to the box. Now I need to glue on the middle of the R and the middle of the O. After a coat of primer, time for some paint. Alrighty, so that was a fun little artsy fartsy project, I guess you would say. Um, but first off, before I get started, I want to say sorry for the focusing issues. I just got a brand new camera and I'm still learning to use it. What happened is I had the autofocus on the camera. Uh, I was just trying to focus, so I apologize for that. Uh, but back to the project. Uh, fun project. Uh, my wife collects after she... I don't, I'm not a wine drinker. My wife is and my uh, parents are. And so she likes to save the corks. I guess that's a thing. <laughs> so uh, she was keeping them in a mason jar and they were overflowing. And uh, so I saw this and I thought, oh, I should make one of those. I got the CNC. So obviously you don't have to have a CNC machine to make one of these. You could get a template and cut it out um, with the jigsaw and that would work perfectly fine as well. But got the CNC machine. So thank you to Inventables for that. If you're new to the Wild Man Project, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. I'd really appreciate it. All my links to my social media are down there in the description, most active on Facebook and Instagram. I'll probably go ahead and put this up on my Etsy site as well to sell. Check for that there. Other than that, thank you guys for watching and I will see you on the next one.